And now it is time for one of our favorite times of any cruise, and that is elegant dining. So it's the time to get dressed up, to go in, have a nice dinner date. So you ready? I'm ready. Let's All right, go. let's go. A table for two, please. Uh, okay. Look at all these friendly faces. Hey, the stars <laughs> of Carver Paradise. What's up, everybody? Hi. 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 Jason, one of me, please. Hello. How are you? Okay, so let's talk about dress code and all of that for formal dining. I know a lot of times people, when they get the idea of coming on a cruise and the elegant dining, they're not sure what that means. And if they're first time cruisers, they're not sure, like, do I need to bring a tuxedo? Do I need to have an evening gown? And look, it is. It is elegant, it's a little bit more dressy than maybe a common time, but honestly, it's not nothing to get stressed out about, right? No, it's really not. And what I want to say, especially to the ladies, ladies, you wear what makes you feel beautiful. Yeah, that's right. It is truly, it's not about what you wear, it's about what, there's a few items that you can't wear, right? So let me just share that straight from Carnival. You're not allowed to wear cut off jeans or shorts. So basically, you know, no shorts, uh, bottom line. No sleeveless shirts for the men. Now listen, guys. For the men, like women can have like gowns and stuff. I've got a sleeveless. Yeah, but man, man, come on, let me talk to you. I mean, really, elegant dining, and the first thing that comes to your mind is sleeveless <laughs> shirt. I mean, come on. All right, so I mean, that's just pretty basic. No, no t-shirts or sportswear. So they're just trying to keep it not like you're going to the gym or to the ball game. Uh, they don't want baseball hats or bathing suit attire. So look, the bottom line is wear what makes you feel comfortable. Look, if you just want to wear a polo shirt, or you can, don't even have to have a collar on it, right? They just, uh, anyway. And I would say generally for the ladies, what you'll see a lot of is you'll see a lot of sundresses yep. or skirts and tops. You'll see pants some pantsuits. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, if you want to get super dressed up and wear that super formal dress, you can do that too. We see the whole spectrum, really. And you will see like a long, it's not like you got like all the people in the evening wear in one corner or another. So like literally <laughs> it is across the spectrum, everybody's happy, nobody's dogging everybody's outfit. Yeah. You come and you have a good time with whatever party you came with and uh, that's what it's about when you're cruising. One of the features of Elegant Dining Time is it is a great night to get those family photos, couple photos or photos of the kids. They have the photo area set up with a little bit more of an elegant taste so you can swing through, get all the photos made that you want. Then come through the Pixels Gallery, check it out, and see if there's any that you would like to purchase. If you want to see the full guidelines on what Carnival says you are supposed to wear and those items that are prohibited, we're going to put all of that information straight from Carnival down in the description. That's cut and paste directly from what their guidelines state, so you can check that out. And look, again, anytime if you're going on a Carnival cruise, we are on Carnival cruises all the time. Just check our videos out, and if you have any questions, connect with us on our Facebook page or on Instagram. Them, ask us your questions and uh, we'll get you all the information but let's look we just want you to have a good time and have the best travel experience possible on your cruise